What's up Vikings Nation? With training camp just a couple days away, we have to talk about the ongoing contract extensions that still need to be done. Justin Jefferson, TJ Hawkinson, and most importantly, Daniil Hunter. And I say most importantly because of these three, Daniil Hunter is the only one that will well, basically hold out of training camp until a contract gets done. And today, uh, the media sat down with head coach Kevin O'Connell and Coesia Dofu Mensa to basically get some answers on the current situations at hand. Still, well, I guess let's get right to it. So what's going on with Daniil Hunter? Here's Ben Gosling's tweet about this whole situation. He said, Kevin O'Connell said that Daniil Hunter has reported to camp, which is good news. But he doesn't expect Hunter to participate fully in practice right away since the Vikings haven't seen him since the end of the season. Now, obviously, it's not only that they haven't seen him since the end of the season. He wants a new contract because he sees himself as or sees himself as one of the top edge rushers in the National Football League and when healthy. I think that's true. OK, I think he can be an absolute dominant force on the edge for us. But again, he has to stay healthy. That's a massive piece. Now, O'Connell also said that on Hunter, that he loves the Minnesota Vikings. He feels really strongly about Mike Smith as his position coach, but I'd be naive to not know there's another part of the process, which is the business side of things, talking about the money. Now, does Daniil Hunter need a contract extension before he practices? Well, GM Questy Dofomensa said, there's a lot of things we're trying to work through with him. We haven't seen him since last season, so that, amongst many other issues, we're trying to work through with his representatives. Now, you're not going to see him for quite some time after the season. Okay, he has to go back home to his family and kind of do things that way. Let his agent kind of do the talking and stuff like that. And being that there really hasn't been much conversation between the two, Daniel Hunter said, look, I want to be a Minnesota Viking, but I want to be a Minnesota Viking under the contract that I think I am worth, that I deserve. So really no communication has taken place. I'm sure there's been some of the certain type of compensation that Daniil Hunter would want, but at this time or at this moment in time, nothing has really been set in stone. And being that he really hasn't seen or haven't, we really haven't talked to Daniil Hunter since the end of last season means that these contract negotiations are pretty slow. So I'd expect those to kind of pick up here within the next couple of days, especially with training camp starting, I believe on the 29th, which I think is Friday, if I'm not mistaken, or Friday or Saturday, one of the two. So that is one contract negotiation or contract extension that needs to get done ASAP if we want to keep Daniil Hunter on our team. The other one, is Justin Jefferson. What's kind of happening here? We heard earlier this offseason that he's not in a rush to get things done, and that still seems to be the case, okay? Questi Adolfo Mensa said with talks with Justin Jefferson's agents uh, about a new contract are ongoing. Okay, he said, I, I believe we'll speak with representatives again soon. So they've already made discussions. They've had talks about this, but there's no rush per se in that regard. Justin Jefferson also said that earlier this offseason. Hey, there's no rush. I'm here to play ball. That's the first thing on my mind. The second thing obviously is going to be the contract, but I'm in no rush to get this done. It could happen before training camp, during training camp, or even midway through the season, depending on the type of production that he brings. But I think he's the best receiver in the National Football League, at least tied with Devontae Adams and the route running ability and stuff like that. So Justin Jefferson will definitely get paid. We just have to figure out the compensation and how to pay him further on down the line. So Justin Jefferson will get paid. He will get that extension. It's just a matter of time. And we don't know at this current in this current moment when that will happen I would expect at least the midway through the season Justin Jefferson will get extended talks are ongoing another one the last one TJ Hawkinson needs to get extended as well I believe he has this year left on his contract for sure this year potentially next year if I looked at it right I can't remember off the top of my head but he definitely needs a contract extension because we would like to lock up one of the best tight ends in the National Football League for our offense uh, as soon as possible, obviously, you know, to keep him, Justin Jefferson, and, and that core of receivers together, that'd be fantastic to have a dynamic, uh, an explosive offense would be massive, massive help. So Adolfo Mensa also said that he talked recently with TJ Hawkinson's agent about a possible contract extension for the Vikings tight end as well. He said, another person that fits what we want to bring in the long term, we're going to try to find a solution for that as well. Okay, so Three contract extensions that need to get done. Daniil Hunter, okay? He is he has reported to camp. He isn't going to practice until he gets that contract extension. Look, he wants to be paid like one of the top edge rushers in the National Football League because he believes that he's one of the best. And, I mean, hey, Nick Bosa is already holding out because he wants a contract. 
So now Daniil Hunter is also holding out, looking for a big contract. I'm not sure it's going to be a massive one, but it should be a pretty decent one. This one needs to get done before we lose Daniil Hunter. Justin Jefferson, another one that needs that contract extension. Look, this ain't going to be Speedy Gonzalez type, okay? They're going to wait and kind of, I mean, there's no rush to get this one done. We know we're going to extend him. We just have to figure out the right number, what he wants. He wants to play ball first, get that contract extension done second, and he knows he's going to be a Viking long term, so we're not really rushing this one. I'd expect this one to get done, like I said, at least by the middle of the season. The last one, TJ Hawkinson. Again, one of those guys that you're really not in too much of a rush with, but you'd like to get done probably during training camp where you can sit down with not only him, but his agent as well and kind of work out the numbers and stuff like that. So we're really unsure of where we stand at this point. Talks have been ongoing for Justin Jefferson and TJ. Not so much to Neil Hunter because we haven't seen him at, since the la uh, end of last season. So I'm sure those contract negotiations will kind of pick up here within the next couple of days and we'll see what happens and what gets done you guys can let me know in the comments what you think about this who gets paid first what do they get paid do you want these three on the team i hope you do and also drop a like and subscribe to the channel it would be much much appreciated have a great rest of your night folks and skull vikes